Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Fist Fight. Fist Fight is a 2017 American comedy film directed by Richie Keenan, written by Van Robichaux and Evan Susser. The film stars Ice Cube, Charlie Day, Tracy Morgan, Gillian Bell, and Christina Hendricks, when one school teacher unwittingly causes another teacher's dismissal. He is challenged to an after-school fight. The film premiered in Los Angeles on February 13, 2017, was theatrically released in the United States on February 17, 2017, and grossed $41 million worldwide. Plot It is the last day before summer vacation at Roosevelt High School and the students are out of control, devising elaborate senior pranks and creating chaos. Andy Campbell, the school's mild-mannered English teacher, and his fellow faculty members are trying to survive the chaotic day as best they can, but only the history teacher, Ron Strickland, is fierce enough to intimidate the students into behaving. Meanwhile, Campbell is awaiting news of the birth of his second child with his wife Maggie. While teaching, Campbell is pulled aside by his friend, the counselor Holly, to inform him of rumors of downsizing of all departments, given his pregnant wife and child. This renders Campbell extremely anxious. After preventing Campbell from walking into a paint trap, Strickland asks, for his assistance in using an outdated AV system which keeps turning off after a couple of seconds, Campbell catches a student, Neil, secretly using a remote control app on his smartphone to turn off the VCR. An infuriated Strickland grabs the phone and destroys it. Neil, using a classmate's phone, turns the TV off again and it enrages Strickland, who grabs a fire axe and destroys the student's desk, sending the class screaming from the room. Both Campbell and Strickland are brought to Principal Tyler's office to discuss the matter. Strickland warns Campbell to keep his behavior a secret, but after Tyler threatens to fire them both if no one steps forward, Campbell tells the truth, resulting in the loss of Strickland's job. In retaliation, Strickland challenges Campbell to a fist fight after school. Campbell is convinced that he physically does not stand a chance against Strickland, and tries to set matters straight by asking Neil to share a false testimony to Principal Tyler in order to clear Strickland's name and have him reinstated. Neil agrees on the condition that Campbell buy him a MacBook Pro. After doing so, Campbell runs into Maggie and his daughter Ally, who remind him to arrive promptly that afternoon. For Ally's father-daughter talent show, Neil's false account is enough to convince Principal Tyler to reinstate Strickland. Campbell and Strickland receive an emergency call from Holly. The two meet up with her in a mock United Nations debate room and discover she tricked them into coming there so they could talk through their issues with Holly acting as mediator. When Campbell tells Strickland that he was able to get him his job back, Strickland is further enraged, stating that Campbell should have told him about this plan before acting, and citing the mishandling of the school system. The fight is still on. After seeking the advice of Holly and Coach Crawford, Campbell resolves to have Strickland removed from the campus before the day's end. As a last resort, Campbell threatens Neil into giving him the drug MDMA. As Principal Tyler finds his Toyota Prius vandalized and parked in the school's lobby, Campbell plants the molly in Strickland's satchel. Campbell calls the police in the hopes of having Strickland arrested, but the attempt is botched, and both teachers are incarcerated. The two teachers share a cell with other inmates and Campbell goes across the cell and tricks an enormous inmate into giving Strickland a beating. But only when signaled, Campbell then returns to Strickland in order 
to trick him into giving the signal. But Strickland instead tells Campbell that the fight is called off after everything that they have been through the day, when the inmate nonetheless attacks Strickland. Strickland easily knocks him out, and upon realizing Campbell's actions, declares the fight back on. The two are then released, after the police discover the drug used to frame Strickland was only aspirin. Campbell heads back to the school to meet up with the school board, Tyler and Superintendent Johnson, but learns that his colleagues have all been fired. Impatient after being told to wait for nearly an hour, Campbell barges into the meeting and learns that he is one of the few to remain at his position. However, Campbell stands his ground and voices his complaints about the public school system not receiving the respect and materials it truly needs. Campbell heads over to Ali's talent show, where Ali's rendition of Big Sean's I Don't Fuck With You inspires him to take a stand against Strickland. In the school parking lot, Campbell and Strickland confront each other and engage in a heated fight that is dragged throughout the school and sees both men seemingly gaining the upper hand at different moments. And the fight goes throughout the entire school. Campbell briefly knocks Strickland out with a fire extinguisher and celebrates only to be sucker punched by Strickland after he gets up. Strickland then answers Campbell's phone and learns that Maggie is about to give birth, at which point he decides to drive Campbell to the hospital. That summer, Tyler arrives at the Campbell household to tell Campbell that the publicity and public outcry the fight generated has put the Department of Education in a position where they need to put more effort and money toward their schools and must rehire Campbell and Strickland. Campbell accepts on the condition that his colleagues be reinstated. As the new school year begins, the faculty return to their respective positions. Campbell and Strickland, now best friends, are ready to enforce learning. In a post credit scene, Crawford is seen flirting with the 911 operator, whom Campbell had called earlier in a failed attempt to stop Strickland in person. After rapping for her, Crawford realizes that he doesn't know her name. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.